guys. I have the frizziest hair ever. Ever. Yeah. Um, so it's a little humid out and I have curly to wavy hair and it's a little bit, um, well, I just got out of the shower and it is me outside. We ain't dealing with this. We ain't dealing with this today. It's, it's not going to happen. So I wanted to go over how I slick back my hair because there's a few new things that I did get at the most recent Sephora sale that I used to slick back my hair that I want to share with you guys. Plus, I want to go over some other new beauty things that I kind of got that I got. I don't know. I don't know really where I'm going with this. But anyway, so let's go over some new beauty, how to slick back hair. This is going to be bad. It's going <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I just, I just can't. I'm still sweating, actually. I'm still sweating. So before I touch my hair, I am going to do my skincare first because I don't want to get all the hair products, like, on my hands and then touch my face. Um, plus, I want time to, uh, I want time for my skincare to absorb into my skin before I do my makeup. Let's get rolling. I always, like, talk about, like, beauty stuff, and I'm like, I keep all of my beauty stuff inside of my Louis Vuitton trunk. I redid it, and I actually did it on a YouTube video, how I actually redid and refinished this, um, leather. Like, it's, it's, it's worn. It's worn. I guess it's a, she a few years old, but it's all good. It's all good. I redid her. She cool. She just sit here. She keeps all my all my beauty stuff in it. And um and um yeah. I'm just a bougie ass bitch is barely what it comes down to. And um I love vintage designer things. Like it's just it's like a work of art to me. Like that these that these designers came up with these oh these beautiful designs and like they were so far ahead of their time. Oh, oh my god. Louis Vuitton was actually a woodworker. He did trunks first. His first, like, I guess medium, you can call it, um, is, was wood. And he made these wooden trunks, and that's why the trunks from Louis Vuitton are literally like $25,000, because they are literally the epitome and foundation of Louis Vuitton. This is Louis Vuitton video by the way I do talk about this in the Louis Vuitton video that I did when I redid this which I can link down below but his son actually came up with this design the LV and like the inverted um like flower design as well so that just became like a staple for Louis Vuitton I just love history as well I just feel like designer things have so much history in them and I'm such a history buff that I'm just like oh it's like history art design like it's just all <sighs> guys I am so wet I don't I haven't posted in a while you guys know I haven't been feeling very well so I've been kind of like pulling back i'll update everyone on like my health journey right now because it's just chaos at this point but i really haven't been feeling good and i've been kind of like pulling back a little bit because i just feel like i need to give my mind my body my spirit at this point like just time to rest because i'm so depleted of everything so if you haven't watched my last video um, I will also link that down below. Um, just kind of like talking about like what's going on in my life, but I am here. I am still like working a lot and I'm just really, really tired. So, um, but haven't been feeling too bad, but I was like, you know what? Today I have a little bit of energy, a little bit of energy. Let's like go over the new, um, beauty products that I've kind of gotten and, um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. So, I got this from Avene. This is actually their thermal spring water spray. I got this a couple months ago. And the reason why I have this, okay, the reason why I think you should have thermal water in your skincare, like, collection is, one, it can keep you cool. Take it to the beach, take it to the pool when it's hot outside, like, spritz yourself down with some water great number two it helps rinse away any other like impurities after you've cleansed your face whatnot um it's just really good for your skin it's just extra moisture right third when you have something with hyaluronic acid in it hyaluronic acid is a really large molecule and it's a water uh it's a water <laughs> Oh my god i definitely just forgot what i was about to say I, lo I lost my entire train of thought this has literally been my life i can't think a hyaluronic acid is a large molecule it's a water soluble molecule which means that it can hold up to like i don't know like a 10 times its weight in water when you have thermal water you can actually spritz your face down with a light mist and then use your hyaluronic acid serum on top 
And what that's going to do is the hyaluronic acid is going to like absorb all of that water and it's going to just like basically all the moisture into your face. So spritz yourself down with a little bit of water. This from Avene, I actually don't know how much it is, but I'm linking everything down below you guys per the use. And it's just a light mist. Also, when you travel, a lot of the times when you travel out of state, out of country, your skin and body aren't used to the different like chemicals and things that other states and countries use in their water and how they process their water. So actually using a thermal water, Avene. Yes, this is the one by Avene, Evian. <laughs> Evian also has a thermal spring water that's sold at like Sephora. I personally like the Avene one. I think it's a little bit cheaper. I don't know. I love Avene. It's it's from France. We all know how I feel about products from France. A lot of the times, like when you travel, just the water that you're using, your body isn't used to it. You can break out. You can have reactions to it. So using a thermal water, honestly, it has been, it can be life-changing when you're traveling. This is large to travel with. Obviously, they probably wouldn't let you on an airplane with this, but they do have smaller versions of it. At least I know the Evian brand does. I was at Sephora, the, no, I was at Ulta the other day and I have been wanting to try Peach and Lily, their glass skin refining serum forever now. This like, this seriously is like such an amazing serum for your face and I ran out. I'm like, I'm, I'm going real low on all my products here, okay? And I was like, you know what? Peach and Lily is Korean skincare and we all know how I feel about Korean skincare. Uh, Korean skincare is literally top-notch as well. Um, they use a lot of amazing pro um, ingredients in their products and they're just they have products in Korea that we don't even like know about yet like I, I can't like they have these huge stores that are literally like dedicated to skincare masks like all the brand I can't peach and lily is a Korean skincare and they're absolutely amazing and their glass skin um serum oh it's so light and so beautiful and it is infused with hyaluronic acid so i'm using it on top of the thermal water what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like it's gonna be real slippery it's gonna feel real slippery but that's okay that's what we want i'm gonna take my little fan which i also link down below i love this thing i'm just gonna use this to dry it oh yeah uh doesn't work it's too small and i'm just gonna use this to dry the serum in the water oh yeah and it's gonna feel a little tacky that's good we want look at it we want that stick. We want that stickiness. Perfect. Once that gets nice and dry, it's a little sticky still, but that's okay. Oh, it feels so good. And then I'm going to go in with like the rest of my skin care routine. Just a little bit of eye cream, some moisturizer, nothing crazy. The Glass Skin Serum, also amazing under makeup. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is a serum, so use it before your moisturizer and you can use it around your eyes it's clear it doesn't have any like fragrances or dyes in it like it's super gentle on skin which is something that i really like because i know all of my sensitive skin girlies out there boys too they be having sensitive skin and you know what we can't be having all the fragrances all the dyes things like that definitely good for all skin types oily combination normal dry whatever it is Going with a little bit of moisturizer. I bought a travel. I apps. Okay. I first of all, you all know my obsession with La Roche Posay. I love La Roche Posay. But can we talk about? We leave on a trip next week, and I have been kind of like collecting all of my travel size things. I love travel size. Anything in like a smaller size, like a mini version of something. I'm like, it's so cute. I want it. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? I don't know. Can we please talk about the mini version though of the La Roche Posay Double Repair Moisturizer? Um, <laughs> this will be going on the trip with us. It's safe for airplanes and all that good stuff. And it still lasts a long time. Like, I can't. Honestly, the big one lasts for a long time. Like, I bought this months ago and I'm still, I'm still using it. I'm still using this huge one. Like, it is the absolute best moisturizer for daytime wear, under makeup, under SPF, night, day. I don't care. I don't care. Moisturize your face, okay? Just do it. I have sweat literally dripping down my back right now. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay. So disclaimer, typically when I slick back my hair, I use the wax stick, but I ran out of mine. So I need to get one before we leave next week. And I'm just, of course my deodorant didn't dry all the way. And that's good. Love that for me. The hell is that? It's like a pimple or something. I'm like a mosquito, but I don't know. Anyway, so I usually use a wax stick when I like, like slick back my hair. However, I did run out of mine and I was like, 
to the metal part and I'm like <clears throat> I'm like you know what this probably isn't safe to be like scraping metal along my scalp so you know what my head's been through enough trauma already this year we're just gonna order a new one so I have to get a new one but I want to show you guys how to do it even if you don't have wax. Oh my God, I can't. I can't with my life. I can't. First things first, I am going to go in with the Day Prickly Pear Hair Oil. I love hair oil when I, like in my hair, when I pull my hair back. I just feel like it's super hydrating. This oil is very thick. Very, she is thick. She is thick, but thick with two C's. Okay. Like she, she got some, she got some pool. I don't even know if you guys can see that. She got some pool to her. So I like to do a little bit of oil in my hair to try to, <laughs> you know, moisturize the dry frizziness because God knows I have it. <laughs> I like to just kind of comb this through my hair. I'm going to get any loose hairs out. My hair just falls out. Blessings. Just a little extra moisturize my hair so long it's sticking in my armpit. And then I'm going to go in with the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. Now, I'm almost out of this. I just got it at the Sephora sale, sale as well. But I do love this styling cream. It smells really good. And it just kind of gives your hair like this. Just makes it easier, if, if that makes sense. Like, it just... <laughs> of course it makes sense. It makes it easier, Jen. It's pretty simple, actually. Come on now. And as you can see, all of those like little frizzies are pretty much gone. So love that for me. It just kind of helps me tame all of those, all those little flyaways because the baby hairs are really baby in and I just, I can't be having that. Okay, please. Do I, I feel like I look stupid when I go down the middle. So I'm going to go slightly to the left. Just do like a nice little pot. And I'm actually just going to kind of get this going here. Now for me and my frizzy hair, I love these like this bristle brush here. I love this guy. First of all, you can use it the one end to part your hair and like kind of control it. And then this hair, this hair, this side to comb your hair down. And it just kind of makes it like, like look how nice and smooth that is. She is smooth garly and that's what we want, okay? We don't want lumpy now, come on now. Once I get it in the direction, I have very thick frizzy hair, okay? And once I get it into that direction that I want it to go, I'm just gonna kind of lightly, <laughs> Dude, I literally get out of breath. I get out of breath doing my hair because it's so thick and so coarse and just like, honestly, like unmanageable. <laughs> like, can my hair please, Margaret need to be getting her shit together because I can't. <gasps> if I wasn't sweating before, I'm sweating now. This is usually where I go in with the wax stick thing, which I'll put a picture on screen of what, what it looks like. The one I used from, um, from Amazon, like I think Bedhead has one. I used to use like an Amazon brand. It was $5, like I can't. But today we're using hairspray because again, I have to order a new wax stick. If I have to use hairspray, I use um, Sebastian or this one I actually use Kenra. This is from my hair kit when I have to do people's hair, which I very rarely do because I hate doing hair. And I'm just gonna put it into a little ponytail first. <gasps> That's she tight. Like still this like little curl though. Like, you're not gonna get all of them down, but like, can we please, at today's hair wash day, so I literally could care less what I put in my hair. Okay. Oh my God. I need a second, cause like apparently I'm out of breath and I'm just like sweating. She, Margo to work out here, okay? And then I'm gonna twist, and of course I don't have another hair tie. I'm just gonna twist my ponytail and go around like that and I'm gonna secure her. Please hold. Okay, and I'm just gonna secure her with another pony. There you go. Yes, darling. Yeah, she is. She's smooth. It was this. What What the hell is as a bump? Come on now. Stop that. She's smooth as hell. She out of breath, but she's smooth as hell. All right. All right. Here we go. Mama need a drink. Ah! Once she's still back, okay, we're going to leave it. We're going to catch our breath. Okay, so going in with just a couple. I only have a couple of like makeup things that I want to do, but I figure I would do it with you guys. Let me get everything out here. We're just going to do a few things because mama, mama got to leave soon. So I'm only going to do a few things. I do need a new concealer though. My conceal is gone and I don't. Maybe that's what I'll do today. I'll, I'll go and get new concealer because if there's one thing I can't live without is conceal. Of course we all know we're going in with the Kosas SPF. This is going to be our SPF today. It depends on what kind of makeup I'm going for, for what kind of SPF. SPF I'll be putting on. So today I'm doing the Kosas one. Sometimes I do the La Roche Posay one. Um, sometimes I do both. Like it just depends on what kind of look I'm going for and how much coverage I want. Since it's hot as hell, 
outside, okay? It is quite literally borderline Hades outside. Um, we are going to go in with the, what the hell is this? Look at this freaking hair. We are going to be doing the lightest coverage possible because <sighs> it's bad. It's bad outside. Today, I'm just going to do the SPF 40. There is a new shade, okay, from the Kosas Sunbeam, Dream Beam Sun, what the hell is this? Dream Bean Sun Lake Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Water Resistant 80 Minutes. Um, there is a new shade. There's a new shade and it's a lighter shade because even though I'm like a little bit tanner, okay, your girl is anemic, okay? She ain't she ain't got no hemoglobin in her, so I'm pale as hell, okay? I, I'm usually a lot tanner than this. Like, there's still a lot in here, but I really want to try the lighter shade because, honestly, having to try to then, like, match my color, I would rather just have the lighter one, you know what I mean? Like, can we, can we not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, like, it's, like, so... Which is fine, like, I'm a makeup artist, right? Like, I can I can fix that. Cool, love that for me. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, it takes extra effort, and I'm like, really not into extra effort right now, so. Mama's tired, like, can we not? Can we please turn down the damn AC right now? Because it is hot as hell in this house. 72, she's going down to 70 right now. So to help kind of like balance that out, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my super light Summer Fridays skin tint. This one helps just like balance out the the very bronziness of of my of the Kosas uh, sunbeam because let's face it, okay? I ain't trying to be that person with that line. Uh uh. Now again, you guys know my obsession with skin tints this summer. Like, can we not? Can we not? That just kind of helped like even that out a little bit. I did bring it down into my chest as well, I'm trying to cover whatever that spot is. Going in, I gotta clean my brushes so bad. It's it's bad. It's bad. Going in with a Kosas. Yeah, I'm 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 scratching bottom here. I gotta get more of this before we leave next week. What in the hell? Ugh! I don't even know why I'm putting on makeup at this point because I'm going to get Botox on and it's like she's just gonna she gonna wipe it all off to clean my face anyway So wh what am I doing? Sorry, I'll just bring some powder with me because I do have to go to the grocery store afterwards So the hell do a little bit over top of my scar Look how glowy I am. It's that glass skin serum. That's what I'm talking about I literally forgot that I had this from Chanel and um, not that I forgot, but like I'm trying to, I'm trying to look nice and bronze going with my Anissa and I freaking love this, this bronzer. First of all, it's huge. Okay. Like Chanel expensive. But let me tell you something. First of all, you don't need a lot. Second of all, it's huge. I, I don't even remember. I should, it's probably expired at this point. I hate to admit that on the internet, but you know what? It's probably expired, but I ain't throwing it away. I ain't doing it. I don't care. I'd rather break out in a rash than throw my Chanel bronzer away. It's gonna last me forever. It's gonna last you forever. I, I ain't even hitting pan and I've had it for years. Like, can we not please? Oh my God. Yeah, look at that. Look at the, oh. <sighs> Breathe. Look how absolutely stunning that is. Look how soft. <gasps> oh my God. I'm getting, I'm getting like overly excited right now. I need to calm down. I need to calm the hell down. I was already sweating before. I'm real. <sighs> I'm sweating like a whore in church right now. Woo! I can't with that bronzer. Look at that. It is like, it's like the lightest, most oh, natural bronze ever, ever, ever. Per the huge, we're going in with the La Mer, the powder. I know she's expansive. She, she a lot. She bougie as hell. But let me tell you something again, it's going to last you a long time. We love her. We do. We love her. And remember, I got it from the outlet store. So I ain't paying full, I ain't paying full fright now. Stop that. Stop that nonsense. Underneath, underneath my eyes. Ooh. Oh. Uh, she's smooth. I'm telling you, she's smooth. Even, first of all, I, I don't like that you can see my see my lines, okay? We getting them taken care of because mama shaking hands with 40 and she ain't she ain't excited about it. That's for damn sure. She just smoothed it out. She smoothed it out. Oh. Yeah. Just through the T-zone a little bit. Whatever else I have. Look at that. Look at that. I try to put all of my stuff back so that at the end it's not like absolute chaos on my on my makeup desk, like on my table. Cause lower nose, boo. Okay, lower the lowered nose. Now, also, I got this palette from Ulta the other day. It's ColourPop. I love ColourPop. I think ColourPop, people be sleeping on ColourPop. First of all, their pigments, insane. Second of all, the price. This palette was $14. I've gone through 
two of these size palettes, but I've gone through the Feel and Bubbly one in my kit. Like, I absolutely love color these ColourPop um, palettes. They are amazing, amazing. <sighs> she pretty, y'all. She pretty. She pretty. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. She is gorge. Look at that. Look at all those colors. Oh, it's like these pinks, these bronzes, these warm. I'm all over. I'm not going to use this today. I don't even know why I'm showing this. Well, I am showing it to you because it's new beauty, right? Like new things that we're adding. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself or put it in my kit. Honestly, it's affordable enough. I could do both. I can keep one for me, one for the kit, whatever. But all right, I I'm just going to do a little bit. All right. I can't, I can't resist. I can't resist. I'm going to get this Rose and Ben. This is just the uh, Rose and E28. So this is their blending brush here. I'm just going to take a little bit. It's called Sunday Soiree. This pink guy right here. You don't need a lot. Look at that. It's too much per the use. Per the use. And we're just going to start tap. Look at it. Hardly tapped. Hardly tapped. Oh God, look at that. And then I'm gonna, once I tap it all in, then I'm gonna go over it and start blending it out. You really want to have your eyes stand out. Use your blush, use like a pink, use some kind of like pinky skin tone shade on your eye and it will really help your eyes stand out. And just whatever I have left over, we're just gonna blend this down onto our eyelid. Ooh, goodbye. Goodbye, I'm done. I'm done. A little bit more. Oh, my hair is ever. Margaret need to get her crap together because I can't. Tap first. And then once you... Do I need more? I think I had more. Maybe not. Once I have it tapped in, then you can go in and start to blend. Oh! She pretty. Who are she? I'm just going to press this. Any excess pigment, I'm just going to press in. <sighs> She's gorgeous. Picnic basket, which is here. This guy right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of her. Just mattes today, nothing nothing shimmery. Cause as soon as I walk outside, I'ma be shimmery as hell cause I'ma be sweating my butt off. Same brush, I, I don't care. Taking a little bit of picnic, picnic basket and we're just gonna lightly feather that on the lid. Goodbye. Goodbye, color pop. I gotta stop. I must be stopped. <gasps> my Westman Atelier liner has seen better days, but I don't care because she is expansive and I'm going to use her till the day she dies. Okay, please. I'm going to run this right along my lash line. Barely anything. Give my, give myself just a little bit of something. A little something, something. Not that much something. Who, who, where are you going looking like that? Ooh, girl, get your crap together. Also, can we talk about how uh, apparently I'm an artist, but I just, I color on my eyeliner like I am in kindergarten, like just this is a Scott Barnes, but it's just like an angled brush. I'm just gonna smudge this out a little bit. Just look straight ahead, kind of like relax your muscles. I get deathly afraid I'm gonna poke myself in the eye, so I'm just going to gently do this. Okay, that's enough. Curl these lashes. This is the Shiseido um, eyelash curler. It is one of my absolute favorites for traditional eyelash curlers. My lashes are super long now because I've been using my lash serum on him. It is the one by Grande Cosmetics, which I will also link it down below for you guys because it is the absolute best. I talked about this mascara uh, probably a couple of videos ago, and I this is the Sky High um, mascara from Maybelline. And I have to say I wasn't sure about it when I first bought it well it has grown on me and I definitely grabbed a new one because this one is almost three months old only keep your mascaras for three months and I have to say I kind of fell in love with it so I definitely grabbed another one while I was out because um, that's what I'm gonna bring on our trip when we leave next week I, I've always been a Maybelline mascara girl ever since I started wearing makeup like Maybelline is just where it's at okay also, this packaging, like this pink color, I'm obsessed. And I mean, look at my lashes. Come on now. Can we talk about how I sleep on my lashes? <laughs> They're so long, I sleep on them and they bend in the corners and I look like an actual, like, just... <laughs> I look like a complete invalid, okay? Like, can we, can you not, Jen? Get your life together, please. Also, why am I just holding my mascara on here? I feel like one side is darker than the other. Why? Okay, stop putting mascara on, Jen. Like, what are you doing? Okay, another new product that we did get. Really, Linus? What are you doing, dude? Y'all know my obsession with the Estee Lauder Double Wear, like, foundation. Like, liquid foundation. 
uh, when I was in Ulta the other day, I found the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I used to work for Estee Lauder and I never tried the Double Wear Powder Foundation. Like, what? <laughs> why have I never tried this? I don't know. Don't ask me, I have no idea. I was like, you know what? Uh, Let's try it. Because I'm obsessed. It Literally, the Double Wear Liquid Foundation has always been my favorite. I have been using that for years. And it's always like my go-to for like full coverage. Like if it's I'm going to like an event or something. It's actually the foundation I wore on my wedding day. I never airbrushed myself. It's what I wore on my wedding day. I wear 2N1. Uh, 2N1 Desert Beige in the Liquid Foundation. So I was like, alright, let me stick to the same... Yeah, let me stick with the same shade in the powder foundation and um yeah it's it's a pretty you can't even see it my hands in the way it's a pretty good match for me it's a it looks a little bit lighter on camera but um you're seeing a lot of like my bronziness so this actually matches like my skin tone not the bronziness okay just know that also it pops out for easy um travel and also easy uh, I believe you can just buy the re the refills, which is great. That's good on the environment. We love that. I'm just going to tap a couple times. This is the uh, C41 from Rosenban. Now, I on days like today when it's super steamy out and I know I'm going to be getting, it gets humid. There's a lot of moisture in the air. I, I'm be getting real shiny. So I do like to have a, um, like an actual pigment powder on my face so that it's extra coverage, extra kind of like stay in place. Just assurance, a little assurance. I barely use any, especially in the days that I use like skin tints where we're trying to keep things super, super light, like literally one press and then just lightly tap. And it's just gonna give you know, it's giving flawless and I'm here for it. And I do this all over my face. I even bring it down on to my neck and decollete. I'm gonna go back in with a powder um, bronzer and also my blush, of course. I'm getting like real cry today. Like this is supposed to be a really light look and what am I doing? I'm putting on all the makeup, like. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Christian Dior bronzer which again has seen better days but you know it is what it is i'm just gonna lightly tap this just to kind of go over where i put the chanel le bronze le beige le beige bronzer or something or other it's gonna bring some color back to our face i keep like leaning back like damn we're gonna go in with our kosis um the blush is life dreamland shade dreamland now this has the blush and like highlighter in it so we're just going to use a little bit of that to put color back into our face again oh look how pretty so you can definitely see that there's some highlight in there as well amazing 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 we love that love that for us I swear they're gonna wipe this all off when I when I have they have to sanitize me for for Botox But you know what it is what it is. I'm just gonna actually bring this with me because this Estee Lauder double wear powder Does come with a it lifts up and it comes with a sponge in the bottom um, Now only thing is is that this does pop out but mine for some reason is like not staying in I definitely messed it there it is you have to like click click that in place, but you can buy the refills, I believe. So this alone was like 52. Um, granted, it was the Estee Lauder was on sale and I like had points and I had coupons, whatnot. So I know it wasn't that much, but pretty much what you're paying for is the packaging and then you get the refills afterwards. So of course they're gonna charge more for the original, like first time you buy it, you know. And then I always I have been finishing off with my Kosis. This is the um they're like hydrating lipstick in heat wave oh so god now i have been doing their liner underneath but you know what? it's too hot for that today so just a little bit of moisturizing because i'll probably just be putting on lip balm the rest of the day because it's so freaking hot out <laughs> and then to finish it off i'm going to use my kate somerville this is the um spf setting spray this is it's spf 50 it's uncomplicated spf uh, soft focus makeup setting spray. It is literally my go-to summer staple. Now I know I talked about this in um, like one of my past uh, videos, but I, I just can't talk about it enough um, because it's that good. It literally is that good. Makeup or not, it doesn't matter. I use this to reapply SPF all day long. When I'm laying at the pool, I'm not going to have makeup on my face. I'm just going to have skincare and all the SPF. 
use this guy instead of like piling on all the creams use this guy to just kind of like lightly spray your face there are specific directions for this setting spray so just be careful do not spray it in your eyes like directly in your eyes you want to keep it eight to ten inches away from your face close your eyes when you do it obviously but i like to kind of go like this and do my forehead first oh wait don't open your eyes yet let for let like all the fumes kind of settle <coughs> also don't breathe it in <coughs> <coughs> terrible terrible idea don't talk after it also try not to like spray it directly in your mouth because it doesn't taste good like any spf does not taste good. <laughs> am i okay yes oh my god i definitely breathe that in jen why did you do that it burns okay and that's that we only had a few new things like i i know like i can't can't keep up with all the newness but um yeah those were a few of the newer things that i got i will of course list everything that i use down below in the description box but like can we not oh having our hair off our face having this like protected gorgeous glowy makeup look like this is this is it this is how i want to look all summer long like we we in the beginning of july we still got a few more months it stays warm in jersey till like october november now so thank you global warming yeah this is it this is this is this is where i'm at oh yeah oh yeah this is like back on now like goodbye all right guys i'm gonna list everything down below for you guys please let me know if you have any questions at all i hope everyone is having a safe fun cool <laughs> summer and um until next time i will see you all later bye